Good day to everyone. Uh, welcome to Principle of Entrepreneurship, MPU 1052 class. Uh, my name is T.S. Dr. Madhivanan. I'm your subject coordinator. And you will attend uh, various classes. Maybe your instructor or your lecturer will be uh, a different lecturer, not me. Okay, not myself. So it's going to be a <clears throat> one semester class, 14 weeks. You will be with your lecturer. However, this class is going to be a standardized uh, class. Therefore, as a coordinator, I'm going to explain everything about this class. First of all, syllabus. Second is assignment. And what are the do and don'ts in the class? Okay. Uh, first of all, let me introduce subject MPU 1052. Principles of Entrepreneurship. For your information, this subject is a compulsory subject and regarded as a university core subject. It means everyone, regardless of the program or whatever courses you are taking right now, you have to register and pass this subject. Okay, And you will be with your lecturer for 14 weeks. Okay, I just want to remind you again, 14 weeks. It means you have to attend the class for the 14 weeks. Okay. The beauty of this class is you will meet your lecturer just once a week. Two hours class. So you will meet them just once. Very simple. Okay. Not a big deal. Okay. First of all, uh, let me introduce a few things. Okay. Um, maybe some of you first semester student. Some of you second semester student. Okay. And this subject was, subject was introduced uh, 8231, last semester. Okay. And before that, this subject was regarded as BPME 1013, Introduction to Entrepreneurship. Okay. Again, I just want to remind the student first or second semester should register this subject. If you are a third semester right now, most likely you are not eligible to take this subject. Please take into account this important matter. Very, very important. Okay. And it's going to be a big problem if you wrongly take the subject. Even though this subject looks similar, but it's totally different in terms of code and also the contents. Maybe the content looks similar, but the code and the subject uh, credit hour definitely different. So therefore, you're not eligible to take this subject uh, if you are not a SEM1 or SEM2 students. Okay. Okay. First of all, all of you need to know a few important things before you go to uh, subject matter. Okay. First of all, okay. you should go to your UM online learning. Okay. So you have to go to portal and you have to take, okay, take yourself or click into, I mean the click on this button, okay, and myself, I will go to the, this online learning. So why online learning? You, okay, the reason is you will get all the materials from here. Okay, for example, my class, group C. Okay, MPU 21052. Okay, you can see here, MPU 1052, Group C. Okay, first of all, what you have to do is, okay, when you scroll your UA online learning, you can see all the things, you know, okay, all the important matters, which is, you are going to use for entire semester. Okay, so let me explain one by one. Okay, so when you scroll, you can see, you see, assignments, chapter, so all of this. So I did not upload, okay, the second chapter, third chapter, and fourth chapter, and followed by fifth, sixth, seventh. I will upload later, okay. First of all, all of you, okay, most likely your lecturer will provide the link to join the WhatsApp group. Like my class, I will put, or I will key in the WhatsApp group link over here. So what you have to do is, you have to click and join the WhatsApp group. If your lecturer, okay, did not provide, 
so most likely they will provide in the class uh, face to face okay but most likely now your class going to be online first week and second week after raya you will come back so most likely your lecturer will keep your whatsapp link over here <coughs> okay so once you click you just join particular whatsapp group okay this is my class okay and second most important thing is your lecturer will provide to you the biodata form this is very very important because you have to fill up all of your particulars okay particulars okay i will provide this link uh you just check the my video my youtube video and you just check my uh description box i will pro provide all the links so you can click and join uh, not the join the whatsapp group i mean click and answer these questions not questions uh, it's just uh, you know uh, fill up the blanks okay put in your name gender and so on age email address you have to fill up all of this okay the most important is your social media address and your group okay if you are a group c group c a mean a okay and your lecturer's full name and cob colgis or chas and this is uh, occupation of your father okay if your father deceased just leave it blank and also mother okay so you just answer all of these questions okay just read and answer all of this and finally you will see one important thing okay this is one of the important thing i will explain this one later when you join this class you will get some opportunities entrepreneurial opportunities okay uh, to register license b or we call it license b ppks pusat pembangunan keusahawanan siswa uem okay later i will explain why you should register this one okay and also uh, you just read about this one okay i will come back to this one okay so this is basically uem online learning okay okay after you fill up a uh, biodata form okay please subscribe the youtube that you are watching right now okay subscribe my youtube channel okay uh, because you are watching my video you may subscribe and also if let's say you have a feeling to follow my facebook you can follow my facebook as well i will provide all the links in my description okay in my description of the youtube video okay uh okay these are the important things that you have to go and check okay after that okay if my class okay followed by another important thing so class important materials if you are a my class student i will put it here class important material maybe your lecturer will name it in a different uh, name okay by using a different name but my class class important material so what you can see is uh, you can see the student syllabus and i put some other relevant materials okay okay now i move to student syllabus okay student syllabus first of all okay let me open the student syllabus Okay, this subject is principles principles of entrepreneurship MPU 105Q. Okay, uh, let me read for you the synopsis. This subject or this course emphasizes the fostering the entrepreneurial culture. Okay, entrepreneurial culture. Uh, <clears throat> okay, entrepreneurial culture. This one very important thing. Okay. Among the students, okay, that they can embrace entrepreneurial values in everyday life. So entrepreneurship is a very important uh, aspect of our life. 
okay everyone want to introduce something they want to sell something generate income and so on so you are going to learn some basic approaches what you can do okay by learning this subject and also by doing some assignments from this subject okay and also the student exposed to the development of the creative and innovative skills as well as business startup process okay this course will expose students to several method of starting a business that will serve small business and medium enterprises okay so basically uh you guys okay upon completion okay of this course students are able to explain demonstrate and propose okay what is this actually okay let me go one by one okay and knowledge and understanding uh, these are the transferable skill of this subject digital skill and entrepreneurial skill so we will measure lecturers will measure these three skills okay knowledge and understanding digital skills and also entrepreneurial skills for this purpose knowledge and understanding you will be examine by you <clears throat> by using final exam digital skills we will give you assignment and also entrepreneurial skill, skills also we will give you assignment so basically only three uh, elements or three assessments in your subject okay okay let me go one by one this one okay uh, okay the cost learning outcome let me check okay um, this one Okay, uh, let me explain chapter by chapter, one chapter, okay, first chapter, second chapter, and third chapter, and followed by the, you know, fourth, fifth, and sixth, and seventh, okay. So, in this subject, okay, the first topic is uh, introduction to entrepreneurship. So, in this topic, you will learn about, you know, uh, the concepts and the models, entrepreneurship meet, characteristic of entrepreneurship, entrepreneurs, and so on, first chapter, Okay. And second is assessing the business environment, second chapter. Okay, and you will learn about, you know, external, internal environment, networking, and entrepreneurial opportunity recognition. These are the important things in this chapter. Third chapter is very interesting chapter, creativity and innovation in entrepreneurship. Okay, you will learn about creativity and innovation and also barriers, creative climate, and so on. Okay. And the fourth chapter is very important chapter for your assignment as well. So you will learn about digital entrepreneurship and how people are doing business through online. And what are the important environment really encourage people to do their business. Okay. Fifth is business plan. Okay. Business plan. Uh, this is your another assignment. Big assignment. Okay. So you have to do a business plan. Okay. Later I will explain. Okay. And the sixth topic is a business startup and financing. Uh, this one, how you can start your business and also how you can get the finance. Okay, finance, it means uh, capital to start your business. Okay, that is chapter six. Okay, and also you will understand some of the legal form of the business entities. Okay, and the last chapter is a uh, small and medium enterprises. You will understand what is SME. And followed by the global market, how you can run your business and expand your business to the global market. And another one is a social entrepreneurship. How you can convert your business as a social entrepreneurship business. 
okay social entrepreneurship so these three combination will be your seventh chapter so in this subject only seven chapters not more than that okay and for this subject not a big deal okay uh, your assessment going to be only three first is a business plan you have to achieve clo3 cost learning outcome okay your business plan and carry 30 marks out of 100 eh? it's mean uh, your carry marks and followed by your online business that one is cost learning outcome two okay another 30 marks so 30 business plan 30 online business is a 60 percentage 60 marks it's mean it's going to be your carry mark okay and another 40 is going to be your final exam and your final exam going to be uh, 100 questions, 100 question objective, multiple choice questions, okay, multiple choice questions and all chapters covered from chapter 1 until chapter 7, okay, again, I repeat, only three, first business plan 30 marks, second is online business and third is 40 marks, 100 questions, final exam, multiple choice questions. It's mean A, B, C, D. You just shade the answer. Okay. And consist of one, chapter 1 to 7. Okay. That is basically about assignment. And you can refer to the textbook. The main textbook is going to be this textbook. And it's available in UEM. You can get it from UEM Press. Okay, I think you can get it from the mall. This book. Okay. Uh, Asas Kausavanan, Theory, Practice and Done Contemporary. Okay. You can get it. Uh, and then some other books. Okay. It's just an additional references. Okay. Good. Okay. Let me explain uh, assignment. Very important. Okay. The first assignment. Okay. The first assignment is business plan assignment. It's very important assignment. Business plan, 30 marks. Okay. Business plan and business model canvas. Okay. 30 marks. Okay. The objective of this assignment is, the primary objective of this assignment is to enlighten students on the importance and function of business plan. As an entrepreneurship student, you must know how to develop a business plan. It can be a small business or it can be a medium level or it can be a large business large business business plan okay so upon completion of this task student will have the ability to identify elaborate and assess the business opportunity or an existing business covering its technical economic and financial viability so it means you are able to do a business plan okay what is business plan okay it's going to be your chapter 5 okay your business plan is going to be yeah chapter 5 okay no worries about that Okay, so a business plan is a comprehensive document that outla outlines the strategy. So it means you will uh, come up with the, your business idea and you have to come up with your business plan. What you want to run. Okay, what you want to do for your business. Okay, you will come up with the uh, comprehensive document. And followed by you have to prepare a business model canvas. Uh, this one, it's one of the important thing you have to know. And this one, you can read the book, Alexander, Oster, Walder, and even Pigner. Okay, you can read the book. Okay, this book is clearly explained how you can do uh, or develop a BMC, Business Model Canvas. Okay, this one. Okay, so two things are in this assignment, Business Plan and Business Model Canvas. Uh, I will show to you an uh, example after this. Okay. For my assignment, regardless of the class, whether class, my class or other lecturer class, you have to use the 
business plan template you can download from my website business plan template you click here then you can go to my business plan template this is my website so you can get a business plan template and you just download it okay So it, it has been downloaded more than 1300 times okay so you can download and use it so So you download first this one then i will explain later so my business plan template is going to be like this okay So when you want to use my business plan template, first of all, okay, you can uh, your logo, company logo, whatever is it, okay, over here and logo and business name, your lecturer name and also your group details. It's up to you, okay, and you have to click the view button here, this one, view. Okay, view button. Then you click navigation pane. Okay, this one. And you click. Ah, then you can go down and you can click. Ah, you can see the table of contents and you can click business description like this. You click like this. All automatics executive summary business description and so on okay then you can add your text over here everything formatted if let's say you want to type a text over here let's say I type the text here it's going to be auto, auto formatted okay you see it's going to be auto formatted like this okay if you want to expand it's up to you So if you want to expand, you can expand it. No problem. Okay. So you can click one by one. Okay. Each and every uh, items, sub items and also main items. Okay. So there are 10 components until conclusion. Uh, 10 menu. Okay. Main menu and sub menu. We call it. Okay. So you have to fill up everything, okay, from business description, okay, under business description, there are a few things, okay, all of this. And second is market analysis, you have to do SWOT analysis, industry overview, market trend, industry overview, sorry, is repeated. You can skip this one, okay. And also, uh, market research, okay. And followed by uh, competitive analysis and followed by business model canvas uh, this one uh, you can get the template from the this okay here you can get the templates okay your lecturer will teach you how to develop the business model canvas uh, you can go here So these are the examples. Okay. So I have designed a business model canvas for all of you. You can use your Canva to edit your business model canvas. And you download it.
okay by using your own account okay it's up to you if you want to develop your your own business model canvas proceed no issue okay Okay, and followed by the all of these business model canvas marketing mix okay and also uh, you know this one um, okay product and service description and followed by the 5.1 and so on okay and sixth is operation and okay operation and management then followed by uh, this one okay and seventh is uh, financial plan and followed by you know uh, funding requests all of this you have to fill up okay and tenth is conclusion that's it So this is basically business plan that you have to prepare by using the template. Okay. Okay, back to the assignment. Okay. For my assignment, okay, how many group members? In your group, it should be 8 to 10 members only. Okay, 8 to 10 members in your group. And group leaders you should submit your member's name to your particular lecturer, okay, for the record purpose. And you have to submit your assignment week 8, okay, week 8, you have to submit your assignment. Okay, how to submit? Depend on the lecturer, but myself, I will ask my student to submit over here. You submit over here. Activity, you click here, okay. Uh, and you upload <clears throat> okay you click here sorry assignment one business plan you click here and upload that assignment okay I think you are very familiar with this one you can you know how to do okay so myself I will collect all the soft copies from you okay okay that's the thing and these are the common thing okay what are the font style and uh, not below than 30 pages okay it should be comprehensive and this is arrangement of your assignment cover page entrepreneurial skill ah, this one you have to refer to below you have to scroll down and also this this one very important you <coughs> insert the checklist in your assignment and also you have to tick it means you have done okay and table of contents and the report ah, this one business plan report all the 10 components then followed by appendix and reference okay just follow this one so this appendix and this appendix appendix 1 and appendix 2 you have to scroll down ah, this one appendix 2 this is appendix 2 with you have to tick okay i have done executive summary tick 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 checklist if you miss any any of this you will be penalized okay and this one appendix one rubric we will give you marks based on this okay back to this one okay okay so these are late penalty Late submission penalty clause. Okay, you can read all of this. And guideline. Okay, if you ask me whether can use AI tools or not, is you can use, but you have to follow this guideline. Okay, AI tools like a Chat GPT or Gemini, whatever is it. Okay, uh, you can read all of this. Okay, and last. Uh, I think this one is not applicable field work clause sometimes you go to interview and ask a real entrepreneur you can go but get permission from me don't simply go and go outside and meet the entrepreneurs you must get the approval from your lecturer ok 
Okay. Okay, I think uh, this one I have explained. You have to include and also the last one. So that's it. That is basically a business plan. Okay. Um, don't forget. The most important thing is your business plan template. Okay. Maybe you have a, you know, one query. What business I supposed to do? Do I need to create a new product? Not necessarily. You can use the existing product and you become a reseller. Or you want to create a new product. Or you want to be a, you want to be a distributor. Up to your business. Okay. Up to your business. Okay. And your business can be anything. But if possible, okay, I will give you the list of business that you can do. Okay. Uh, later, I, it depends on the lecturer. Maybe your lecturer will assign. Okay. Group 1. You have to prepare a business plan uh, restaurant. Second group, uh, selling uh, uh, maybe toys. Third group, maybe the service company. Depend on the lecturer. Okay, my class, you have to do uh, different business. Not all groups doing the same business. All they want to sell uh, food and beverages, running a restaurant. I think I don't, uh, I'm not going to encourage that. So I want you to do the different business. Okay, for that purpose, I will do something like, uh, you know, maybe I will uh, assign directly this group, do this, this group, do this. Okay, your business will be uh, various, not going to be homogeneous. Okay, that is most important. Okay, um, as I mentioned, you have to upload in online learning after you complete your assignment. Okay, another one. I will upload sample business plan and business model canvas. Uh, you can check in my YouTube video. I will create a link for you. Okay. This is a sample assignment. Okay. For example, you can see uh, this lecturer, this, sorry, this student. Okay. Uh, this student uh, product is win cases. Okay. Company name. Okay, this is one of the good assignments. So they have done everything. Okay, you can see over here. Okay. Let's see. And they put entrepreneur rubric. And also they, okay. Uh, this one, they miss uh, two more components. It's okay. I already uploaded. I will check that one. No problem. Okay, and this one, checklist. Okay. Okay, you can see the executive summary here. You see, they have put everything detail. Later, I will uh, create a link for this sample assignment, and you can check. Okay, no worries about that. Okay, so sample assignment for your reference. Okay, and also. I just want to add one more point. If let's say any one of you want to use software to develop a business plan, you can use, especially my class, you can use. There are some one software, you know, you can use, but you have to pay. It's not free. Okay. The software name is a life plan. Okay, life plan. Uh, this one. This software you can use. So I think it's a twenty dollar per month. So this software really help you to develop a business plan. But you have to use my business plan template. Uh, if let's say you are using this software, you must include all the components that I propose to you in the business plan. Even though you are using a software, okay, you can use this software, okay. But I'm not going to teach you this software. You go and explore this one. Okay. Good. Okay. So first assignment done. Explanation done. Okay. Let me pinpoint most important thing. Okay. The most important thing is. Uh, okay. Uh, 
<clears throat> number of members in this group, okay, 8 to 10 members, and your assignment, okay, you have to submit week 8, okay, and you can write your assignment in Malay or English, it's up to you, okay, but I would encourage to, encourage you to write in English, okay, um, and it's up to you, it's not a compulsory or it's not a mandatory rules, okay, and you just check all of this, okay, now, uh, okay, before I forget, another one, a uh, reminder, you can write business plan, any business plan, and after the business plan, you will do the second assignment, which is online business, uh, that one is a real business. You have to sell the product. So your business plan and also your business, online business, can be same product. If let's say you don't want to do, you want to do uh, maybe for your business assignment, one business plan, you want to do business plan for the restaurant business. Okay, But for your second assignment, online business, you want to sell pen. Totally different, no problem. If you want to do same business for the same, both assignment also can. Okay, it depends on you. Okay. Okay, now I move to second assignment. <laughs> second assignment is a bit challenging assignment. Okay. Okay, online business assignment. Oops. This one. Okay. Online business assignment is is a real business. You must run the online business and sell your product through online. And this assignment is not a text based assignment. It's a visual assignment. Okay, visual assignment. Okay. So, objective of this assignment, okay, before that, uh, this assignment carry 30 marks, as I mentioned just now. Okay. Okay. Objective of this assignment is the overarching goal of this assignment is to provide students with a rough grasp Okay, grasp of vital role played by online business in today digital landscape. It means I want you understand what's going on in the digital world, digital landscape, digital entrepreneurship, and so on. Okay, so therefore you are required to do online business. Okay, so you can read all of this. By the conclusion of this assignment, our student will possess the knowledge and the skills necessary to effectively establish and manage online enterprise through diverse channel with a particular emphasis on leveraging social media. Uh, so basically, you're, you're going to use social media platform. You can use any social media platform, at least one social media platform. Okay. So your task is, this assignment mandates students to undertake the practical execution, uh, real business of their business idea, transforming them into fully functional online business. It's mean, if let's say, let's say person A, you are preparing a business plan, in your business plan, you mentioned you want to sell shoe. Okay. Your business, online business also can be a shoe business. But some students maybe think for the business plan, you want to sell shoe, but for the online real business, you want to sell pencil through online. Okay, no problem. Totally two different business, acceptable. But it's up to your lecturer. Okay, it's up to your lecturer. You, you have to get the permission from your lecturer. Okay. Student must focus on marketing and selling the selected product or item through social media platform. Ah, that is very important. In order to furnish students with the essential guidance and establish a well-defined framework to aid them in the successful execution of this task, the following set of guidelines has been uh, thoughtfully provided. So you have a guideline, eh? you can read. Okay. Uh, the rest you can read. Okay. First, students are required to sell any product through social media platform. 
any product mean it should be legal product not a fake item or replica products you are not allowed to sell all of these eh? or not drug or weapons not allowed okay and you can use any platform to run your business and you must create a sale okay you should create a sales mean must have a transaction very important okay and you can use okay uh, to promote you can use the facebook you can use you know uh, uh instagram or you want to use a tiktok is up to you okay instagram okay tiktok any platform so called social media platform at least one okay if you want to use multiple facebook instagram tiktok all together no problem you can go ahead i'm okay okay sometimes people also use the linkedin you know uh, but it's quite very tough and also i encourage you to use whatsapp business very important okay uh, to promote your product so using uh, any social media and also whatsapp business as a messaging system or we call it messenger system very important remember uh, one social media which is uh, which is uh, tiktok facebook instagram uh, whatever relevant okay social media that you feel you can use okay at least one and followed by the whatsapp it can be whatsapp business or whatsapp but you must use whatsapp to communicate with the people because normally when you sell through social media it's not like a shopee you know so it's going to be like a, you need a communication so maybe you can communicate through whatsapp or and so on okay second eh? third is okay okay this one you can reach okay nothing okay student must generate product sales through social media for this one what you have to do is you must provide teaser soft sell and hard sell what is that soft sell and hard sell you can read you know you go and learn soft sell means you are telling people what you are going what you are selling like that okay hard sell is you force the buyer to buy your product that is hard sell actually okay so you can use any uh, social media okay and also you must get likes followers post engagement post reach and so on okay i will show to you all of this in the sample assignment okay after you do social media okay uh, do social media based business second task is you have to create a simple website okay simple website to tell about your product okay you can use google site wix bibli wordpress jimdo whatever platform okay uh, for this you can watch my youtube channel i have uh, several videos over there okay, if you go to my youtube channel i will provide the link in the youtube description okay you can learn from here you can use wix bibli and so on For example, if you go to my YouTube channel, uh, you can see uh, some videos. Uh, uh, this is my YouTube channel. Okay, I explain how to develop the website, this video. And also I have some videos, you know. Um, like, uh, okay. Okay, like this one, this video, digital marketing video okay build your own web okay you can watch these videos okay by using by watching these videos you may understand uh, clearly how to develop websites okay important eh? okay two tasks in my assignment okay Okay, 
So task one, choose the product and also you have to create a, your online social media. Okay. Second task is you must create a website. Okay. Okay, second task and this assignment. Okay. And additional info. This is most important. Okay. By doing this assignment, you have to re register yourself under the MDAC portal. I will conduct one session with MDAC, maybe fourth week or third week. Okay, I will conduct one session with the MDAC. They will explain how to use MDAC portal. Okay. This is all of the compulsory component. Okay. To go to this MDAC portal, you just click this one. Okay, you can go here. Okay, it will bring you to this portal. Okay. Uh, sorry, yeah. Okay. Okay, it will bring you here. Okay, then you have to register here. Okay, register here. Okay. For this portal, I have uh so called manual okay you can check the manual how to register and also i will uh, conduct on special session to explain how to use this portal okay just read all of this okay this is very important and every student must register this portal okay every student must register this portal and record your sales how to record? Ah, you go here. So I will upload this user guideline. Okay, you can get it from my uh, your lecturer and also from my portal. Okay, I mean YouTube portal. Okay. So ah, you have to register like this. After you register, okay, you log in by using this login, and also followed by you manage your profile. Uh, you have to create your profile. Each and every student must register. Every student. If let's say your group is 10 members, 10 members must register. Okay. Why you should register? I will tell you later. Okay. Next section. Okay. Uh, so you have to create your own profile. Okay. Then update your business profile. Your business. If 10 of you have one name. Okay. Uh, Axis business. Uh, all of you register one name. Okay, but each account. Everyone should create an account. Okay. After that, you have to provide your information, your university, and also when you register, it will ask your lecturer's name. Choose your lecturer name. Very important. Okay, very important. Uh, this one. Update your institute information. Okay, your this one and also level of study, your lecturer name over here. Okay, your lecturer name, you have to, ah, this one. Choose your lecturer name also and subject as well. Okay, please follow step by step. Okay. And class details, you update accordingly. And why you need this MDAC? Okay, very important. Once you register this MDAC portal, under this MDAC portal, there are two things, you know. One is update your records, sales record. And upon completion of all of this, your lecturer will give you the certificate, e-certificate from the MDAC. You can download, but it's uh, end of semester, not 
early of the semester. Okay, uh, you have to ask your lecturer. Okay, and after you update your profile in the MDEC portal, you have to record your sales. I want everyone record the sales. For example, in one group, there is Ali, Ahmad, Mutu, uh, Mustafa, uh, Fauzia, okay, or Angama, and all of that, 10 people. You have to record individually. How to record? Okay, let's say your total sales for that month is 100 ringgit. So you have to divide by 10. But it's up to you. You can divide by 10 equally, 10, 10, 10, or it depends on your agreement. Okay, for example, first person 20 ringgit, second person is 5 ringgit, third person is 10 ringgit, fourth is 5 ringgit. It's up to you. But you must record the sales. Manage your sales. No worries. I will bring the MDAC people to explain all of this detail. But this is good enough. I already explained. But this is very simple matter. Okay. And you just go and add all of this. Okay. Many sales expenses. Okay. Sales and expenses by month, you know. By month, you have to update. Okay. If no sales, no problem. If you got sales, you can update. Okay. And expenses. Okay. Sales mean maybe you sell product, one product under ringgit. Your expenses may be 50 ringgit. It means your capital to buy that product. Okay. Your expenses. So 100 sales minus expenses, you get the 50 ringgit profit. Uh, that is simple calculation in this portal. Okay. Uh, transaction report. Uh, you see. You will get something like this. Okay. Uh, apart from this, this is recording sales. When you go to this portal, there is another important thing. You can learn about digital marketing by yourself, by using learning management system. Uh, this one. When you go to the portal, there will be a two buttons. You know, One is learn online. Another one is a, uh, this one. You will see this green color. Track your business. So you click track your business. You update all of these. After that, you go to the front page and you click learn online. Under learn online, there are four types. So you can go to the third one. Search engine marketing and this one, all of this. Okay. Just go and click. There are so many uh, modules over there. Videos, modules and so on. You can use all of that. I see. Live streaming, okay, SEO, Google Business, courses, videos, okay, uh, you see, ebooks, assessment, you can do some quizzes, but I'm not going to give you marks, but this is for your self learning. And also assessment completed, okay. Uh, so you have to complete the assessment and you can download the certificate. Under completed online training, you will see the certificate for courses that you have completed. Uh, this one you can download by yourself for every completion of the courses. So you will get the certificate by end of the uh, my class. A lot of certificates. Okay. And general features. Uh, this one is uh, some features. Uh, you can get the, you know, once you complete the courses, uh, you will get the rewards, you know. You will get some rewards and you can claim, you know, wireless mouse, uh, power bank and so on. These are the benefits. You can redeem to, from that. Okay. And also you see. Redeem. See. Uh, okay. Suddenly. Okay. Let's say you register your portal. You have a problem. Okay. You have a problem. What you can do is. You can email to them. Support gocommerce.my and they can solve your problem. Full name, IC name, IC number, program name, mobile number and so on. Okay. They will get back to you as soon as possible. Okay. Uh, so this is your online business portal. Okay. Uh, okay. Back to this one. Online business. Okay. So I think you are clear. Only two tasks, task one and task two. Task one is create a social media uh, and task two is 
create a website. Okay. Okay. Additional info. Okay. Uh, the portal and so on. And I have another additional information. Okay. Uh, Okay, another important information is, okay, UUM, okay, really provide a lot of benefit to the student who are running a business right now. Okay, you can register lesson B under the UUM, Pusat Pembangunan Keusahawanan Siswa. Siswa. This is only for the Malaysians, eh? not for the non-Malaysian students. Okay, when you register under lesson B, you will get some benefits, you know, but of course you have to pay 5 ringgit. To get the license B. What are the benefits you will get? Uh, these are the benefits. Okay. Opportunity to get the student business grant. So, UEM will give the grants. You know, I think the very small amount. Not a few 10,000 or 20,000. Eh? It's just a few hundred or few thousands. You can get the grants. Okay. Because you have a license. And also, you can run a business. From DKG1 to DKG6, you can run a business. Of course, with the approval. And also, um you will have a chance to getting a sticker application approved because you are running a business. And also, Pusat Pembangunan Siswasa. Keusahawanan Siswasa. It means uh, Center for the Entrepreneurship Development. Okay, Student Entrepreneurship Development. Uh, they will give you a lot of trainings, you know, if you register and get the license B. And also, your name will be considered for the uh student award okay for example successful student entrepreneur award and so on okay if you want to register this one you may contact this two person Muhammad Fitri bin Amsa and also Siti Zavia you can contact and also I provide this information in the online form if you go to online form okay I provide the information over here the by data form If you go here, you can see the poster over here. Okay. I put it in Malay, this one. Okay. Lesson B, PPKS, EUF. Okay. This is only for the Malaysian. That's why I put it in Malay. Uh, peluang untuk dapat bantuan geran perniagaan. Pelajar atau pinjaman perniagaan pelajar. Boleh memohon tapak kios. Peluang untuk mendapat kelulusan. Permohonan stiker, peluang untuk mengikuti latihan keusahawanan and followed by Anugurah Toko. So, for this registration, you may contact these two person. Okay? I really encourage you. It's just a five ringgit. You can get license B. And you can run a business uh, even with kiosk or without kiosk in the campus. You can get the license from them. Okay? If you really are running a business, real business and so on. Okay. But I encourage you, all of you. Okay. I encourage all of you to register this one. Okay. All uh, right. Uh, let me go to the online business. Okay. And other thing is same. For this assignment, you have to maintain the same group. Don't change your group members. Eight to ten members, you maintain the same group. Okay, maintain the same group. And also, uh, this assignment is very simple. It's a print screen assignment, you know. You don't need to write a lot. You just put the picture. Okay, for example, your social media, Facebook, okay, print screen. And just write a caption. Each and every step, you are promoting your product. Take the picture. As many picture as many image as you can you just put in your assignment but you should include all of this your social media uh, okay fb instagram or tiktok all of this each and every picture 
and also you must show that you have done a promotion please the soft sell and hard sell and also social media marketplace okay and you must provide your business insight business insight mean how many people like your page that is one button you know in the facebook and also in the tiktok you can click and you can see you know how many people like you how many people uh, share and so on and also you have to provide sales record with evidence offline and online sales record mean you must provide that you have done a sale someone paid the money to you and also uh, you have post the product to them and also maybe uh, you sell directly face to face directly deal with them and you sell the product also you can record it everything i want a picture okay and also you have to provide the url link of your social media and also your website okay and the most important okay mdec okay you must provide the mdec okay mdec portal registration record okay and that is important okay and this assignment you have to submit week 13 okay. ah this this is very important you read this one eh you are mandated it's mean compulsory you have to register mdec portal and each and every one of you should record the sales and provide the evidence in the picture format in your assignment okay what i'm going to check okay are uh, this one you can check uh, okay the arrangement of the assignment cover page and you have to put the rubric checklist uh, again checklist table of contents and the report it's not a text eh? you don't write the long text or paragraphs only picture okay image print screen okay the rest you can read plagiarism and so on uh, ai tools usage you can read all of this um and followed by uh, this one student need to ensure that all the items below are included in the submission of assignment online business appendix 2 okay you see this one okay you must have a create social media promotional teaser okay you see portal everyone portal create mdec portal everyone's uh, portal you have to put in your assignment and sales record in mdec portal if no zero marks i will not going to give you marks is very important okay okay i'm not going to give you marks okay and the last one is the rubric put the full rubric here eh, for components and you put the rubrics okay so this is basically second assignment okay okay uh the most important again i want to repeat this is this assignment carry 30 marks first of all identify the product you want to sell through online and identify the social media either you want to go to the facebook or tiktok instagram or you want to use all and make sure you have promote your product through social media and you have a transaction and that transaction you should record in the mdec portal very important okay let us see the sample assignment this is one of the sample assignment you see yeah they have completed all of this okay you see they put rubric they insert the checklist and followed by the table of contents and they introduce their business little bit what they are selling and this is their business page tiktok okay and what they are selling in tiktok okay they are selling cases you know 
this one Shopee. Uh, they go at once, little bit. They go until Shopee. Yeah? Okay, you can go to Shopee also, no problem. Okay, TikTok, Shopee, and also Instagram. They do the promotions and their sales promotion, uh, teaser. And followed by the soft sell. Uh, they tell the people what they are selling. Okay, they promoting the product. And followed by the hard sell. Uh, they force the customers to buy. Okay. Then this is promotional teaser. Okay, Instagram art sell. And this is the business insights. Okay, under the this one. For your business platform on promoting our product. Okay, TikTok, Shopee. Uh, the sales, product view, shop tab, revenue, all of this. They are recorded. Okay. I see. They are recorded, everything. Okay. So this is so-called uh, insights and also Shopee insights. Uh, they go beyond. Okay. They go for the Shopee and account reached and so on. They record everything, detail. Okay. And they come up with their website as well. Okay. This is the website. They use Wix.com. Okay. Okay. The website is here. I can show to you. Uh, where is this? Okay. Okay. This is their actual website. They promote their product in the website. Okay. And followed by sales record. Ah, this is very important. MDEC. You see. They record October sales, November sales, okay, and December sales, and also, uh, you see, they put a simple uh, sales record like this, quite uh, advanced assignment, okay, and other relevant information, uh, they put the progress, promoting, and so on, Shopee page, Instagram account, and so on, eh? uh, this is the website, you see. Hope still available. Okay. Uh, the website is still available. Okay. You see. Okay. So on. Um, After the website and so on, information, uh, this they add some important, but, but this is not necessary, not important. Okay. And uh, this is uh, feedback from customer. Uh, they have done a sales. This is very important. You must keep the transaction record. You see, their sales and their testimonials, everything they keep. Okay. This is just uh, not important one, but it's okay. Okay. And also they put problem and challenges of online business. It's very important. You have to write what happened to you when you do online business. Okay. And this reference. And the last one, they record the MDAC record. Okay. You see here? Ah, this one. We Kailin MDAC the sales record and co chai a record okay they divide and they record it arish they record and also thank week one record you see everyone report i want you do like this everyone should report not the group leader report everything okay you see this is one of the good assignment the both assignment eh? okay you see each and every group member recorded. Okay. So, I have explained everything about this subject from assignment until um, 
you know, syllabus and so on. Okay. Let me reiterate my points. Okay. First of all, join the WhatsApp group to get the update from your lecturer. Second is always check your UEM online learning. Third is don't forget to fill up your biodata form. Fourth is you may okay subscribe my YouTube channel and also follow my Facebook. Fifth, check the syllabus. Okay. In the syllabus, I have mentioned 30 marks, your online business. You have to follow all the guidelines. Okay. In that online business, make sure you register MDAC portal. Very important. Okay. And also, you have to register lesson B. Okay. It's not compulsory, but I encourage you to register. You will get some benefits when you register lesson B. For the lesson B, you refer to the uh, my online form, my data form. The information is here. If you're interested, you just put yes. And you follow them. And I will upload also how to register lesson B. Okay, I forgot to tell you how to register lesson B. Uh, this is the way. Okay, forget. Sorry, yeah, I forget. Let me update. Cara cara mendaftar lesson B. Uh, I will give it to you. So, go and check. Eh? Login melalui portal pelajar. Okay. Then, click butang activity pelajar lesson B application. And go here. Click. And also, tulis nama perniagaan. Click butang. And also, pilih jenis perniagaan. Okay. Sumber modal and so on. Tekan butang tambah and so on. Okay. Tulis deskripsi barang and so on. Okay. Just follow the step. Don't worry. I will keep this one in my YouTube channel. Link. YouTube description link. And also, I will share to your lecturers. Your lecturers will uh, upload everything. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, I forgot to mention this, not, this one just now. Okay. Uh... After online business, okay, before online business, you have to submit the business plan. Okay, online business week 13, you have to submit. Uh, business plan week 8, you have to submit earlier than online business. Uh, business plan is very simple. Follow the template and you just submit. 30 marks, 30 marks. Okay, business plan 30 marks, online business 30 marks, 60 marks. Eh? Okay, and business plan, your business not necessarily same as your online business. You can do two different business. Okay. After that, final 40 marks. MCQ questions. Multiple choice question A, B, C, D. 100 question. Chapter 1 to 7. Okay. So, that's it for this class. Follow as instructed by your instructor, your lecturer. Okay. Attend the class. Do not skip the class. Okay. And check your online learning time to time. Very important. Your information will be uploaded here. Okay. And also, your lecturer will communicate through WhatsApp. Okay. And your lecturer will update to you time to time. And stay tuned with your lecturer. Okay. Thank you for listening. And if you do have any question, you can directly ask your lecturer. Okay. And also, you can email to me. Okay. I will put my email ID in my YouTube. You can email to me. Okay. Thank you very much.